This is a big ship. Those Seraphim sisters sure got nice pipes. Their moves could use a little work though. Seraphim sisters. It's been repeating the same footage over and over, but if you try and change it to that, that marine goes into a rage. You can you can you can tell the don't let him out often. Such a waste of my break. Wish I could have made it to their concert. The holograms they have here are the best quality. You know, the other day we had a Gnosis Halo and the entire crew panicked. It was utter, utter chaos. The Gnosis Halo? Oh my. Okay. So if we turn it off, I wonder if that like, if he, he goes crazy over there. We didn't, I guess I have to talk to him because nothing like immediately happens. Hey, what do you do that for? I was watching that program. Why don't you go to another info station? Stations reserved for video programming in this time slot. Everybody's looking forward to it. We have a map? We don't have a map, do we? There's those ones that are on the wall every now and then. Is that the same guy? Oh, I'm gonna feel so bad if it is. No, it's not. Whenever I look at this switch, I hear a voice. Press me. Hurry up and press me. I dare you to press me. Can't you hear it too? Yeah, I totally hear it. I'm right there with you, bud. Hey, enough is enough already. Don't blame them for everything. Shut up. I've had enough of your equal rights for realians and it goes against humanity crap. The realians on this ship aren't like the old models that were assigned to Milsha. An incident like that will never happen again. How can you be so sure? After all, they're nothing but combat weapons. What happened to Milsha? That's going to be a big story point, I guess. His family was murdered by realians on Milsha. He's been prejudiced since realians since. Gotcha. I can't believe how laid back they are. We don't know when we'll be under attack, but the guys are totally oblivious. I'd never tr fought Gnosis before, but I think I have a good grasp on it. How terrifying they are. Even this state-of-the-art ship will stand a chance, will, e not even this state-of-the-art ship will stand a chance against them. This central elevator goes directly to the bridge. Your chief is Zuki of Vector, right? The captain is expecting you, please hurry. I think that's everywhere. The radar only shows like people though. Almost have enough to upgrade one of those. Yes! To the bridge! So this guy's Shrinkoff. Okay. You're 10 minutes late. No wonder that your research is behind schedule. I'm sorry. Instead of taking up more time with their apologies, you should hurry and present your report to the captain. Dude, Trinkoff is kind of an ass. 
Please excuse me for being late. Don't worry about it, Moriyama. Now that you're here, can you please show us the Cosmos data? Yes, sir, right away. I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. Hmm. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you? Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints. Just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> you must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. You're from Vector, aren't you? How are you enjoying the Wogland Wogl so far? She's a great ship, isn't she? You know, you'd be better off working something more practical like naval engineering. Hi there, you're quite young for a chief engineer. That's no, yeah, no kidding, 22, right? They sure do things differently in large corporations like Vector. For such a young person to be given the opportunity to develop an android weapon, <clears throat> private companies sure have a lot of money to throw around. Sorry, I hope you'll forgive me for the rude remarks. Everyone's feeling a bit uneasy about the information blackout surrounding this mission. It's just that your department is an easy target for people to vent their frustrations against. As military personnel, they really ought to maintain their decorum regardless of their personal concerns over the mission. I hear that Gnosis are extremely mobile. I'm not so certain that this ship's FCS is even capable of, of pursuing them. FCS. Hmm. 
Can talk to this guy. Okay. A modern warship can't exist without a network. A fleet. Now the military itself, it's like a giant living entity. A mere link with this ship can mobilize several thousand troops. And that's just through one synapse. Hmm. Interesting. Good work. Now go and get some rest. So the captain seems like really nice. And his like first mate or whatever is like super uptight. Those floating ob objects are console pods built exclusively for the new 100 series observational unit realians. Unfortunately, 100 series observational units haven't been issued yet. It'd be helpful if they were. But we're just fine on our own for now. Another email. We get a lot of emails. Great, I thought you'd be in. Just put forward the file you need. Save the file attached to this email. A plugin called Sprinkle, which has been distributed for free as a software Takes advantage of unused cycles on the connection gear, so it does not burden the connection gear's ordinary functions. It repeats required processes only when the connection gear is not being used. Interesting. get the file. Oh, here we go. Download. I don't know I've downloaded it. Like, is there something I do to... Here we go. Okay. Oh, we can look at different gnosis and stuff. And analysis info too. We just don't have any yet. So that's like our bestiary, but it's only for gnosis? Oh, we got the characters too. Oh my god. Look how long this is. Okay. Client which enables multi array computing. Interesting. With K Cosmos, right? The Battle Android? Hope it does well. Sorry, Android, you said it was an Android that looks like a human. I've only read about them in classical literature. Why are we building something like that? It's awesome. <laughs> no need to worry. Just one more gate jump and this operation is pretty much over. Won't have to resort to that unfinished weapon either. Do they have some sort of unfinished weapon or are they talking about Cosmos? Mm -hmm. So we're going to head back. Chief Uzuki, a Vector First R&D Division, you have a package from Vector HQ. Please claim your package at the eggs hangar as soon as possible. Maybe that's our new gun. Right, these are still saying the same thing. I can see how those like bulkheads and everything are gonna be useful if like the ship got attacked or something. You could just like section off part of the ship, or if there was a fire or hole breach. Email for Shion again. She gets so many emails. 
Sugiyama just started an investment trust. Investing in Hasegawa biochemicals should help reduce the time allocated to the R&D of this whole of the new drug. Investing in Vector Tenon will surely help spur the plans for growth as well as help the development of new drugs. Also the pharmaceuticals, same thing. So we have to invest in Hasegawa, which will get us a powerful health restoration drug. Vector, line of products like ether packs. Dawson, status abnormality recovery. Now let's just go with Vector, I guess. I don't, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> We work for Vector. Maybe Vector will come up with something cool. Is there like a run button? where the hangar is. What's it, Mr. Vector? Want to play with us again? Yeah, let's play. What are we playing? Oh, trying to get by them. No, they're catching up. Damn. Hmm. Thought I might lose them on the corners or something. We should go to the the gear hangar. Oh, no, let's see if we can find a map. I wish we had a map. <laughs> There's a map in the hallways every now and then. It definitely shows you where Shion's bedroom is, but other than that, I don't know. Is it a freaking car? Like, chilling in the hallway? People drive through here? It seems dangerous with all the people walking around. Right, that's his headquarters. His, his quarters. Didn't find his key, did we? Um... Mm. 
Where am I going? Here, this is the Realian room. Here's Shion's room, right? Thoroughly unhelpful. Wait, I'm back here. Oh, in a circle. Wait, do we go over here yet? Okay. Oh, another door. I don't think we came over here yet. Did we? Or maybe we did. Yeah, we're back here again. Okay. Dang it. Don't know where I'm going. I think I'm supposed to be getting to the gear hanger. I just don't know where the gear hanger is. Do I need to go back to her room? I thought I had to go to the gear hanger, but I don't know. Any of you guys know? <laughs> it's like running around in circles on the map on the ship right now. So, if we... I'm so- I'm just lost. <laughs> Where are we now? Take the rest of the day off. Right, but we also got an email about picking up our, like, arm cannon thing at the gear hanger. I mean, I know where my room is and I could go sleep there. Maybe that's what I need to do to advance the story. It's her, her room is like right up here. This is Shion's room.
Oh no, I have a package waiting. I have to hurry to the hangar to get it. So we have to go to the gear hangar first. I'm not sure where the gear hangar is. Is the gear hangar back where the Zohar was, maybe? If I look at the map here, I'm assuming it's that big room, which is where the Zohar was. So we just need to head south. Miss the email feels like real life. Ah, <laughs> uh, we don't have the thing that lets us blow those up yet either. I'm Petty Officer Nobutake. I apologize for any inconvenience caused by the construction path to the vector sector. Please bear with us. Stay away from me. Just leave me alone, okay? Okay. Hmm. So maybe we cut across here. But let me see that map again. Okay, so if we look at our map, I'm a little pointer. So we're here at Xi'an's quarters. Assuming this is the gear hangar, this is like where they have the Zohar, I think. I think the Zohar's right there. There's a big hangar like thing, but I don't know that it's the gear hangar. Like, this is the RD division where we started, I think. This part's blocked off, so we can't even get back over here. These lead up towards the bridge, they lead to here. Maybe we need to go to this elevator. Maybe that's where we need to go. This is the bridge here. None of this is a gear hanger. Maybe, maybe it's the elevator that we need. Let's head for this elevator. Theoretically, we should just head straight up this hallway. Bless you! <laughs> Welcome to the stream. The elevator leads to the bridge. Okay, I don't know then. I'm lost. I don't know where the gear hanger is. I don't know how to get to it. <laughs> Does anybody know? Yeah, that's the elevator of the bridge. Maybe the other thing on the map is the gear hanger then. What's the top left? Or was that... That's not where the realians were, right? So let's head up this way. Here, like, if you look at the map. Yeah, let's head to that big yellow room. Maybe that's the gear hanger. Or the try. I already got that. This is where those guys were. The hangar's to the north. Okay, so maybe this is it. Yeah, we haven't been in- no, we've been in here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the gear hangar, right? We saw gears here. I remember this now, okay. Okay. So this is where we need to go. Who do we gotta talk to? No, not right now. I don't need the simulator. Um, someone's got to have my weapon. I'm a little disturbed that they're making me go out of my way to get a weapon before I can rest. Because why would I need a weapon? Alright? <laughs> Are we about to get attacked? Talk about how they can like compress the gears down to carry them around. Okay, here's our. I think this is it. Yeah. Got our MWS. Do we have to equip it? It's already equipped.
All right, so the scope is why we're seeing enemy HP information. That's a that's an accessory doing that. Gotcha. We actually have enough TP to raise one of our stats, but we don't want to do that, I don't think. I think it's probably better to save the TP. For our tech attacks. Because apparently, if we get the speed one and take it from low to high, then we can start using them with in like every turn instead of having to build up to them, which is humongously better. So we need to get 150. We only have 65, so it's gonna be a little while. So we're gonna save up for that. That's what the email said to do, and it seems like really good advice. All right, so we got our weapon. Let's head back to our room to sleep now. <clears throat> and have a completely uneventful... S oh, Ooh, I'm getting tired. I think I should go rest in my room for a while. That's what I just said. There's a chest right there that we can't get to. We have lost our ability to jump. But you know what? After the platforming and Xenogears, maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> Jumping is for people who want to do platforming and Xenogears. <sighs> Anyways, welcome to the stream, bless you. We've been playing through all the Xeno games in here. We started with Xenoblade Chronicles 1, then we did Xenoblade Chronicles 2, then we did Torn of the Golden Country, then we did Xeno Gears, and now we've started Xeno Saga. We play video games in here every single night starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, it's an interesting order. I started with Xenoblade Chronicles 1 because Definitive Edition came out, and that was my first game I got, right? And then I went ahead and went through 2 because that was like the next one, right? And Torna because that was the DLC for 2. And then I was like, okay, let's go back and start at the beginning. So we went back to Xenogears, and now we're going like chronologically through the rest of them. Like, release order basically and then we end up doing Xenoblade Chronicles X last because it's just what's going to be left over <laughs> uh, X is kind of its own thing I guess Xeno Saga is your favorite all right that's good to know well, I hope I like it too so far it seems good I like the cutscenes. I like the voice acting. I mean, this is honestly really good voice acting for a PlayStation 2 game. And... I mean, I haven't seen enough of the story to really comment on that yet, but 